So just found this in my DMs from a very good source. Very good source. This is the actual interview document that io9 sent Vic. Then Vic would fill out answers right here and he would send it back. That's common how these things work. Now, you're going to see some things retracted right here. So that's to protect people. That was done before I got it, and I would have done it anyway. Shall we begin? A cosplayer told us that at KawaiiCon in 2014, she met you for the second time, and you and she ate dinner together one-on-one. -on -one. It was originally supposed to be a group dinner. Afterward, she alleges that you walked with her to a parking area and proceeded to grab and kiss her aggressively without her consent before asking her to your hotel room. She refused, reminding you that she had a partner and knew you were engaged at the time. She told us that you then followed her as she walked to the hotel where you were also staying and you played with her hair and grabbed her waist saying you wanted to take her despite her having told you repeatedly that she was not open to going to your hotel room. Do you recall this night? Yes, but I recall it very differently. Did you continue to touch this woman without her consent? No. Did you attempt to ask this woman to go to your hotel room despite her turning you down several times? No. And here's the actual response. We mutually flirted quite a bit both times I saw her. I do not recall there being a group element to the dinner invitation. After dinner, we kissed mutually and consensually. I asked her if she would like to come to my room. She said she would love to, but shouldn't, since we were both involved with someone else at the time. We parted ways, and that was the end of it. So there's the response that they didn't give us. And you're going to see that quite a bit more. A voice actor told us how at a con in 2007, you asked her to stop by your room before heading to dinner with a group so you could show her a video. As the two of you were watching the video, she remembered you by grabbing her by the arm and kissing her aggressively, including putting your tongue in her mouth. She said you backed her up towards the bed and she fell down onto it. You got on top of her shortly after a friend knocked on the door and she got off the bed. Do you recall this event? Nope. Did she do this th without your consent? No. Did she fall down? No, no. So he's, he's saying that this did not happen. He does not recall it. And that's believable to me. I mean, this is 2007, right? Um, this is a pretty serious offense. Why didn't you go to the police? I have never forced myself on anyone. Any and all encounters I've ever had have been 100% consensual. A voice actor told us that at a con in 2010, she had agreed to stop by a room on the way to a panel. You invited her to sit down on the couch. After a little while of talking, she said you came down to kneel in front of her and put your hand on her thigh and then started rubbing the back of her thighs. She recalled you saying, let me be sweet to you at least five or six times. She said she had to get up and leave, and you stood up, embraced her tightly, and pressed your face against hers. She said she tried to get out of the embrace, and you wouldn't loosen your grip. She eventually got out of the embrace and left the hotel room. The same voice actor said you later asked at the con if the two of you could be in a separate autograph signing rooms. Do you recall this event? It's impossible to be certain. I recall someone with some similar elements that may be what's being described. All right, so did you touch this woman on her thighs or the back of her thighs? If this is blank, then yes. If not, then no. Did you continue to hold on to this woman as she tried to pull away? No. Did you ask the con staff if the two of you could have separate autograph signing rooms? No. And now we get the full statement where before he just said, yes, I rubbed her legs, but it was consensual. That's all you got to see. This is how these things work, by the way. They take what you do and they twist them, right? They twist them because they don't, they're not out to give you any kind of good praise or to humanize you or give you any kind of empathy. They're out to destroy you. This was all done so they could take one sentence, put it out there so they say, we did contact him. 
because it looks better that way. So he says, again, if this is blank, she and I had dinner and got a bottle of wine with it. We went back to our rooms, I think it was hers, and sat on the couch in the outer room of the suite. We drank more of the wine. I kneeled down. I kneeled before her and put my hands on her legs. We began kissing mutually and consensually. After a short while, she pulled away and said, We should stop. We did, and I left nothing. I, and I left nothing forced whatsoever. Shortly after, I called her when I came into town for a con and asked if she wanted to have dinner. She enthusiastically agreed. She gave me the address to her apartment and suggested we meet there. We walked to her favorite sushi restaurant, ate, and then returned to the lobby of her apartment building. She said that she was seeing someone, so I respected that and made no overtures. I said goodnight and left. When I cast her in a show I was directing a year ago, she came in all smiles and hugs and said that we should get together sometime and catch up. I've never had any indication that our intention that our interaction was unwelcome then or since. Doesn't that kind of bring a little clarity <laughs> to some of this stuff, right? You see this accusation, and then you actually get to hear his side of the story. Remember that tweet where he said, there's two sides to every story? Well, turns out that's quite true, isn't it? So yes, I know this is the most exciting video as far as like content, but it's important. And I think that it needs to get out. And now it's out. <laughs> now it's out. We got like two more to go. We're going to get through them. A voice actor told us that before your first panel together at Colossal Con in 2012, you grabbed her from behind and started tickling her aggressively until she screamed at you to stop. Do you recall this event? If this is blank, then I remember it differently. Do you, did you tickle her without consent? Yes. Again, if this is blank, we were about to do a panel called Ask an Anime Character, in which the panelists would answer questions as characters they had portrayed. I created this panel and had encountered other VAs in the past who were anxious about having to improvise. She seemed nervous never having done it before. So I tried to lighten the mood and reassure her that it would be okay by tickling her a little in a playful and friendly manner. I have since seen her multiple times, and she has always been friendly. She wrote me a couple weeks ago telling me of her displeasure at the exchange seven years ago, and I immediately replied and apologized. Afterward, I encountered her at Back Anime on February 2nd, and we exchanged pleasantries in the green room what a two-face that lady is that you would that you would seven years down the road i'm so angry after meeting you several times i should have just said something right there and then but instead i'm going to sit on it and stew on it for seven years so that i can explode one day during a big uh call out culture so uh here's here's one of the fun ones a voice actor told us how at Anime Week in Atlanta you were trying to get her to cast you as a lead in one of the projects. She kept refusing and said you offered to buy her a drink, which she refused. She told us that at one point you put your arm around her waist and asked her if she wanted to take the conversation somewhere private. Do you recall this? Nope. And then for this part, did you continue to ask this woman not available because he said no? I have no idea what this is about or who you're speaking of. However, it's very common for voice actors to try to network, hoping for a chance to get work. But I have no recollection of asking repeatedly, and I have no recollection of this specific alleged event. I don't believe they even gave him a response to that one, by the way. Five voice actors shared that they experienced or observed you on multiple occasions and with multiple women grabbing a fistful of hair to pull the woman's head back, then kissing their necks or whispering in their ears as a way of greeting them. Do you recall doing these activities to any woman? No, I don't greet people that way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who does that? Um, and there it is with this fistful of head hair and stuff, kissing their necks. like, uh, And it's observed behavior, right? And I like how... Uh, they can hear them whisper. He can hear them whispering in their ears as a way to greet them. 
Sounds more like maybe you're just believing what your mind tells you to believe. And here is the last one. Four Congors from different conventions over several years told us you held them or kissed them without consent during autograph or photo ops. One of them said she was underage at the time and that you didn't ask her for her age beforehand. Do you recall these types of encounters? I have until recently hugged everyone who comes to my autograph sessions. This type of interaction is common for many voice actors. And as I can cut in, we've seen that. Actually, many of us have pointed pictures where voice actors are hugging and kissing on people. But I guess it's just different if Vic does it. 